first time I did it, it was like riding a race. I came across the line. The buzz was like I'd just done a bunch of sprint. And then, then I had to get off and take pictures of a bunch of sprints. So it was like a huge adrenaline rush. Really good, you know. It's exciting, doing Roubaix, going across the cobbles, smashing it across cobbles, trying to catch up with the race, you know. It's really exciting stuff. But um, I'm, not, I'm not sort of obsessed with it in, in race pictures. I'd like to sort of like get ahead, do a landscape or something like that, or run inside a bar or a pub and take a picture from the pub. I don't go for a particular ride or anything like that. I try and get a, a mood of a place or a, when the composition is right, I'll take the picture rather than when the rider's right. So I think I work the wrong way around compared to most sports photographers. I actually can't remember the first tour that I worked on. It's, I know it was, this is the eighth. After racing, I went to art school and uh, still couldn't get rid of the, uh, the cycling bug. So uh, I was just photographing races. I think the first one was Hearn Hill when uh, O'Bri was doing a roadman's pursuit or something. But the new thing is camping. <laughs> it's amazing though, because you, you come to the finished town and then you do your stuff, go to the press room, do a bit of charging up, send some pictures, and you just ride around and then you see a campsite sign and you're sort of like, what's that one like? No, next one, that looks nice. Pitch tent, Wi-Fi, cafe. It's not raining, that's the key though. <laughs> it's gonna rain tomorrow, sleeping on outdoors is not gonna be good. Plus, hotels, they get so dull. And if you really, if you're properly in the bubble all the time, I start losing the will. I really do, just because I want to see things fresh. So if I jump out and go to a campsite, it's really quite good. So then I come back in and it's like, oh, back at the circus. And I get excited again. And then hopefully that it motivates me in my pictures that I'm excited again. Oh. <laughs> Tour de France. It's awarded to the rider who has the lowest aggregate time and is ultimately won by the rider who took the least amount of time to complete all the stages. It's important to remember that stage finish